This is Chad with the iPhone blog and today I'm going to show you pages uh, for the iPad. My goal is to kind of show you basic functionality, uh, show you where things are at, allow you to change op options, those types of things. So let's get started and launch pages. And if you don't have any existing documents, you'll be first greeted with this template selection, which is pretty nice. You have a wide variety of choices, anything from letters to a syllabus to a party invite to thank you, uh, thank you cards. I'm going to choose the thank you card because it's really simple and it'll allow me to easily illustrate some concepts to you. So I'm going to open up the thank you card. And it's very straightforward uh, thank you card. You can you know, pinch to zoom if you want to, things get bigger. You can make it full screen and then tap to bring it back. Um, once you're within the text, uh, you can of course change its formatting from up top here. So I can make it justified if I want very easily. I can align it to the right, middle, or center. Very convenient. I can make things bold, unbold them. I can even change their formatting, make it a different heading formatting if I want, make it different captions, or just make it body text all within a simple click. I can also add a graphic very easily, and I think this part is fantastic. All you do is you tap, you go to your saved photos. I have lots of little fun photos in here. Let's say we take a look at this green mushroom, and boom, mushroom is very big, but you know what? It takes up too much of the document. But while I'm here, I want to show you if I tap and hold and I slide down on the screen, you'll see it previews the different pages as I go back and forth. So you can see that I've actually got two pages here. Pretty slick. Now, back to the image. I tap the image. I can go to the I button. I can then force it to be in the front of the background, flip it. I can edit the mask. And wrapping is done automatically, but I find wrapping it around ends up moving much better. So now what I'll do is I'll resize the image, make it a little smaller in size. And what I do now is if I move it, you'll see it instantly conforms around the text. Just like that. It's beautiful. And if I move my image over here, it resizes uh, to the right as well, accordingly. Uh, very slick. Or I can even put it in the middle of my text. And I can resize uh, to my liking, you know, make it bigger smaller and it wraps totally 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 awesome especially if I justify the text let me kind of tap away now to look I didn't really want to paste it uh, so now the text totally fits around uh, the object which is totally awesome um, some other things you can do is uh, let's say I select this text I can also add tabs line breaks column breaks page breaks I can even go here under styles and have a bunch of styles built in for my formats, but if I want to adjust things manually, I can manually adjust the font, make them nice, big, or small, change the color, and actually change the font that I'm using. So maybe I like uh, Helvetica. I can change it to Helvetica. No problem. Um, if I go here, I can go to document setup. This allows me to put in a header or footer. I simply tap to make any changes. I can add a background image here, uh, like a watermark, if you will add page numbering information, all that stuff's available to me right here, as well as my text formatting options. And there we go, you can resize, you can see you have your, your tab markers and margin adjusters, as you can see here. And if I take the document, or actually I can actually X this button out here, and you tap the ruler to bring it back. Now if I rotate, you'll see I'm granted with a full keyboard to then do my full text editing. And it kind of gets rid of everything else, so I don't need to see it, so I can focus on just what I'm typing. There we go. Oops. So, uh, needless to say, I'm pretty impressed with this app. It's very nice. When I click uh, Done, down the bottom here, I can send via email, share via iWork, or export. If I export, it asks me what format I want it in, pages, PDF, or Word. If I send via iWork, it brings it up with an email, basically, to send it to iWork via email. Um, once this comes up, doo -doo 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 -doo, it's been a little pokey. Uh, I can go to sharing options and say, what do you want to call it? Do I want a password? What do I want my download options to be? And uh, you basically type in uh, the information and share it with people if you like, or just send it off. No worries. And if you're done, uh, you can certainly delete it. And you can go over here, and if you've set up any documents, uh, to sync with pages. This is where you import the documents that you've set up in iTunes to come into pages. It does not show up automatically. You have to select the document and import. 
that's how that process works. So in a nutshell, that is Pages for iPad.